before we get started with the video today guys, I want to let you viewers out there know that only a small fraction of you guys currently watching are actually subscribed to my channel, so make sure to smash that subscribe button for instant updates about videos that I release and other announcements, and also smash that like button to help my channel out. Enjoy the video! What is up guys, and welcome back to episode 2 of Zero to Hero, my free-to-play account progression in Epic 7 series. Um, so yeah, this is my alt account. Um, as you can see, I've cleared up to 5-5 in episode 1 of Adventure. And you just want to make sure as you're clearing your adventure stages that you're trying to fill out these quests for every stage. You'll see there's initial clear and story clear. Those are pretty much going to be given you, to you no matter what. And you want one fire hero. Now every star that you get and quest you complete in these stages, you'll be getting five extra sky stones. And also you'll be getting those stars. Um, and then you can use the stars, or not use the stars, but the stars will track um, how many quests you've completed for the entire map. If you complete all of them in the adventure... Um, one adventure map you'll get extra sky stones and you know gold and stigma and then in unrecorded history and episode 2 episode 3 for adventure later on you'll actually start getting more and more uh, rewards and these are one-time rewards but they're very nice for getting early source of sky stone so you can summon more so yeah um you can see i'm at 5-5 right at the middle of episode one so i decided to make a, another episode for you guys today to see how my account is doing so yeah let's go back so at this point you guys should have had your moonlight blessing um, it'll pop up at the bottom right right here. I'm clicking this purple glowy disc looking thing. So you're going to want to go into it and you get to choose between, um, not between, but from six units. It'll be like Arbiter Vildred, Spectre Tenebria, Ruelva Flight, Dark Corvus, Judge Kisei, and Martial Artist Ken. Now for progression, you're going to want to take Arbiter Vildred no matter what. He's going to be the best for progressing you faster. Um, a close second will be Spectre Tenebria, but I think Arbiter Vildred has the edge over her. Um, in early game and mid game PvE. She's only better than Vildred um, a little bit later in late game for PvE in Abyss and in PvP and RTA. But Arbiter Vildred is just by far, hands down, the best um, flexible unit that you can get from this Moonlight Blessing. The other four are okay. Um, there are, they are ML5, so they're not terrible. But if you are looking for pure progression, just take Arbiter Vildred, guys. He'll make your life way easier. He farms adventures so freaking fast. Um, you'll be able to get through the story mode super quickly with him. And I actually don't have this unit on my main account because I had to expect her to Nebria. So I'm actually loving Vildred on this account. It feels so fun. Um, he just one-shots everything. And if he dies, he reses. It's really fun to play with. So yeah, Arbiter Vildred for sure. And yeah, um, see, so yeah, I saved up my summons as well, by the way, guys, up until this point. So I'm actually going to do them for you. So I didn't even do my free summon this, um, this day. So I'm going to try to do this real quick. And yeah, you're just going to want to summon um, every so often when you have a good amount of Sky Stones. And you'll see um, I have a lot of bookmarks saved up with Sky Stones. So yeah, we're going to go through these animations because I'm getting new units or artifacts. And yeah. So who did I get? It's going to be a 3-star artifact. Curse Comp is okay for cleaving or for controlling on turn 1. But yeah, I'm just going to go through this really quick. Um, you're just trying to do this early game because you're trying to look for like certain units, um, which I'll go over in a second, um, particularly to help you in your Wyvern team. So yeah, nothing useful so far for me. Oh, we got a Shine or a Spark. I can't skip through it, so it is a new unit or artifact. And it's 4-star. If it's 5-star, someone pops up. If someone pops up on the left, it's an artifact. Right side, it'll be a unit. Aureus, one of the best, if not the best, knight artifact in the game. Nice. It is going to add a lot of mitigation to my team. And what is the next summon? It's a 3 star once again. No shine. And it is Azalea. She's pretty weak. Um, not really worth. So yeah, I'm out of bookmarks now, but I have sky stones. So usually I don't recommend ever buying sky stones, or not sky stones, bookmarks like this. Just straight up with sky stones one to one. Um, what you want to do is refresh your secret shop. So the secret shop, I'm not sure if you guys are aware. You guys probably are. Um, it is going to be in the lobby. Accessible after level 25 right here. And you just roll it with sky stones. And the chance of getting bookmarks is way better um, from the bookmark sky stone ratio than just buying it from the store itself. And you get a chance at mystic metals, which will help you get ML units. But early game, the gold you have is kind of limited. And you're just looking for a you're just looking for some three-star units anyways from the Covenant Summons, to be honest. Anything that's four star or five star is kind of a bonus. Um, you're particularly going to be looking for Alexa, Daydream Joker, and Clarissa if you get lucky enough to pull them. You don't need to pull them, but yeah, you just want to try to pull those if you can. 
yeah, just use them on your um, covenant bookmarks. Use your sky in the covenant bookmarks, and just keep pulling away. And you see, I got a grill. Now I got a spark. And it is another four star. Cartusia. Okay, not that great. It's okay though. You're not gonna pull everything that you want in the beginning. Even if I go to get to Wyvern, um, by the time I need to do Wyvern, if I haven't pulled any other units, it's still fine. You can still actually start um, progressing Wyvern. You don't even need anything from summons, to be honest. So, I'm just going to pull. I think I have two, one more after this one. Yeah, also not that great. Oh, we actually have two more, so it's also new. So I'm really hoping for Daydream Joker, um, if it's an artifact. It's a, yeah, it's an artifact, is it Daydream Joker? No. Okay, well that's fine. And something I have, okay. So I didn't get anything really useful, but I did get a gold transmit stone for later, so it is okay. And yeah, that's pretty much my summons. Um, I don't think I can get any more for now. But, yeah, just updating my uh, team real quick. Um, you saw all before what my team was in the last episode. I made some adjustments. I swapped out. Um, I don't know. Oh, Carrot was here for the quest. But I swapped out Aether for Doris because I got lucky to pull her. Um, so Doris is going to be slightly better than Aether. You can use her later on in PvP as well. So I'm just going to put her in for now. It doesn't really matter too much. The first episode is super easy. You can pretty much get by with any team as long as you have like a healer to sustain you. And yeah. Just slot in units as you want. Um, eventually what I'm going to do is I'm going to slot in Angelica for Doris because Angelica will be my tank for Wyvern and then I'll slot in Alexa for probably Rose because she's a DPS for Wyvern and then my last slot Arbiter Vildred I'll use until I get to Wyvern and then um, yeah with Wyvern team I'll just put in Furious instead of him that's my Wyvern team so you're just basically prepping your Wyvern team uh, because that is your biggest um, milestone that you want to hit early game it is going to be the place where you farm the most so you just want to try to yeah make your way there and get your units that you need now i have cigarette already right and you'll see that alexa is available from connections a very good dps option to use alongside cigarette so you can get her whenever you want um whenever i do start to do wyvern and start clearing it um, and then you'll see angelica's above right here where i'm clicking where it says hot um she is available after completing uh, episode one so after that i get my tank and angelica and then the last units round out your wyvern team alongside angelica alexa and cigarette it's also available from connection so this one's from episode 2 though, so it'll be a little later. But still very, very strong. Furious is going to be your best defense breaking bet for a Wyvern. So yeah, all the units you can get, as long as you get Sigurd from the Selective Summon, you can get the other three units that are going to be built around Sigurd for Wyvern. Um, the most important thing to farm early game. Um, basically for free from connections, you just have to do some quests. You don't have to pull anything. The only thing you actually need to pull to make sure your Wyvern team does well is, go is going to be the three-star artifact um, that you need on your Angelica called... Uh, candlestick which will make her tankier and reset her heal cooldown and daydream jokers for your dps which are three star artifacts so they're really really easy to pull you just got to pull um, a decent amount early game and make sure you do your quest from adventure mode to make sure you have the sky stones to supplement your uh, bookmark um, stash so yeah you want to make sure while you're doing um, progress in adventure though that you're doing a couple other things that are very important so first off i'm gonna go over adventures path again you'll see on my account i finished the first two um, adventure path quests I'm on Adept Adventure now, right? And yeah, so I just have to clear this. Um, I'll go back and clear stage 4 dash S or S6, yeah. And then I just keep progressing. And you're going to want to fill this out. You just get a lot of free energy. Molagora, which uses skill in hands. So you get some gear, um, some Phantasma, some dogs, and some Mystic Metals. And the reason why you want to do that is because I can't show you, but in Remarkable Adventure, there's going to be level 55 and 70... Um, DPS sets, which you can use on your uh, Wyvern units early game, um, even into Wyvern 13 actually. So you're going to want to make your way there because it will give you way better gear and also will give you a lot of good rewards and goodies with it. So make sure you're doing your adventures path uh, consistently. You want to just be looking at it to see uh, what you need to do. Um, like right there on the right, as you guys just saw, it just told me to clear that stage. I'll probably do that after um, I'm done recording this video and keep progressing along. Now alongside adventures path, there's actually two other things, maybe even three that you're going to want to do. Um, there's more actually, but I'm going to just tell you about these three things to focus on early game. Because if you have too many things and get overwhelmed, um, you start losing, losing track of what you actually need to do in the game. And it can give you a headache, to be honest. 
So don't worry too much about other things that you're missing out on, but just focus on these other three things that I'm about to tell you. So the first thing is going to be your arena. So you're going to get a pop-up every so often when you clear stages because you unlock them that you can do an NPC challenge. Now for regular arena in the opponent's tab, this is PVP. Don't worry about it too much. You can start climbing later. Um, but what you want to do is make sure you're doing this on cooldown because you're going to be getting free sky stones and conquest uh, points. So I have one available right now. Um, I'm going to do it real quick. You'll see that it's really easy. Um, as you start beating them, you'll be able to lock harder stages, which give you uh, more rewards, slightly more rewards. But just clear the stage you can, and you'll see my army just basically one shots everyone. And you can just press auto for the most part, as long as your levels are on your unit aren't like extremely low and then you should be able to win this is going to take a while though because uh what's it called i don't have aoe besides rb he already went but yeah arena will give you good rewards because of the sky stones and you also get the conquest points which you're going to use later on to buy level 88 gear and late game it's not really like great gear because of how the stats roll or like work out but for early mid game players the gear you get from the conquest points that you can get from doing this arena is going to be insanely strong for you and will be your best gear by far for the majority of early and mid game. Um, alongside that, you're going to want to be doing Labyrinth. Now Labyrinth tokens or these compasses will be given to you every time you rank up. So you'll be getting a lot and what you want to do first off is you want to obviously clear the first stage because it is what you need to do to unlock the other ones. But what you want to do after that is every single day, uh, make sure you unlock this top right portal by the way. Um, but every single day, you're going to want to go to the top right portal, um, start autoing down. Uh, you might have one fight here, but yeah, once you start clearing more, the fight actually disappears. Uh, you don't have to actually fight. But yeah, there's even a chest on the way you can sometimes get, but you're going to see this blue looking dude, okay? Now you want to come here every day because he basically gives you a lot of charms, which you'll need later on to upgrade your gear. Now, these may seem expensive, but they're most definitely worth it every day. You want to buy these. Um, the charms are really nice, and the Covenant bookmarks. Those are the only things you buy. And after that, all you do is don't teleport back. Don't teleport here again, and don't teleport anywhere else. And then uh, clear it. You just click the pause button at the top right, and press yield. Now, you will still get all the charms. You saw I bought that red charm. Um, you see it's in my inventory, and the gold's gone. So, and it gave me back my Labyrinth Compass as well, so I basically just went in for free, got the store, um, bought whatever I wanted to, and then just went out. So yeah, you want to get um, the daily shop every day, whatever charms you can, and the Covenant bookmarks. And then with the remaining compasses, you just want to progress down because uh, later on, you'll see, I don't know if I can show you, but you get level 78 Destruction set gear from Nixie Sanctum, which you can also use in your Wyvern team if you need it by then. And it's very, very powerful uh, destruction set for early mid game players. Now you get one compass a day um, just from the daily reset. So you want to make sure you don't cap at three. Having two, like I do right now, is okay. If you uh, want to do it the next day and you don't feel like doing it today, that's fine. Um, but just make sure you don't cap at three. And just keep in mind every time you rank up or sometimes even from Adventure's Path, you'll be getting more compasses. Another thing that you want to do besides that is Abyss. So, Abyss is something you want to do every day. You're going to be getting three of these guides or kind of like compasses for Labyrinth, similar um, a day, so entry tickets. And you just want to keep plowing through as far as you can. Um, it's different from Labyrinth compasses though because you don't get one a day, you get three a day. And what you want to do is you want to use them all because um, if I'm at two out of three like this and then I don't do it, I don't get five for tomorrow, I'll have three. So I basically essentially lost two free um, tickets. Um, so you just want to keep doing it as much as you can. And if you do get stuck, um, what you want to do instead of just letting it sit like this is click Purify at the bottom left right here. So what Purifying does actually is it consumes the rest of your Abyss tickets that you have. And what it does is it gives you gold and stigma. So it is free resources. And you get more for however many tickets you purify. Now you'll see it didn't reset back to one because Abyss will never reset. It is a one-time thing. So you don't have to worry about it resetting or anything. Just make sure you purify if it gets stuck. Or if like some days you just don't have enough time, because that happens sometimes, just make sure you purify, get the free gold and stigma. Um, you just want all the free resources you can get. Um, the game's handing you free stuff, just take it. So yeah, you want to do Abyss, Labyrinth, and Arena. Those are the three things you want to focus on while you're you know, clearing Episode 1 and into Episode 2. Um, there's more things that you can be doing, but don't overwhelm yourself, guys. Just make sure you take it slow and easy. Um, but I will say that while you're doing those, um, you're, you can be getting free energy and gold. Uh, what you want to be doing is at the bottom left here, reputation. I went over this last episode, 
but you want to be make sure you want to be making sure not make sure making sure that you're claiming all these free rewards um the quests uh, you don't have to actively try to complete these quests in um, everything that's below what's it called three sisters diary so i'm just going to claim everything real quick and then what you're going to want to do actually is like i said for three sisters diary last um, episode what you want to do is you want to be clearing this every day so you'll see i have 80 points out of 100 right so i want to get this to 100 so i'm missing five points so i can just do any of these quests right and all these below are the ones i already did so you just want to get to 100 and don't start claiming it until you have like an hour to grind because like i said You'll see right here at this daily reputation reward chest at the 20 point reward chest um you have a one hour 10 percent gold buff and yeah gold is really precious in this game guys so for that entire hour you want to be constantly doing something that gives you gold so you get the bonus effect um you know you get the full value of it um, it's just free buff every day so you want to time your energy usage with this now with the energy usage it ties really well with the web event so every um Every time you play the game, um, there will be a web event running, whether it be this one that's right here right now, or if a patch happens, um, it might switch to another one. And this one is the new one. So what you want to do is you open it by clicking it, and then you'll see this pop-up. You might have to enable some settings on your device to be able to see it. Um, if you have pop-ups blocked, it might not pop up. But you'll see that it goes up to 20 right here, and you get 50 energy at every five breakpoint. So you just want to keep doing this, and not keep doing this. You want to keep doing either adventure, hunt, spirit altar. So anytime you clear something, right, you're gonna get one point. Every time you get to a break point, you get 50 energy, you just have to receive it. And then you just play like a little mini game here. This mini game is you choose a drink and you just have to make the drink, basically you're a bartender. So you'll see the ingredients collected at the bottom. So I'm just opening the fridge, whatever, I'm trying to make the drink. Oh, I can't make it still. I need three ice still and I have three the other ones. So you just have to do it the next day and finish it. And at the bottom here, you'll see, you can get up to four of these fridge tickets a day. So you'll be able to collect some rewards. So you can get some Agora, which is used for skill enhancing, gold transmit stones, bookmarks, and a free unequip buff because unequipping in Epic 7 actually costs gold. That's why gold is very, very precious. When you want to swap around gear, it'll cost you gold. So this is really nice to have because if you're moving a lot of gear at once, you can save like millions of gold. So yeah, there's a buff right there. And at the bottom, you'll see there's a event review. You just have to give it five stars or whatever stars. Um, just give it five and then type something that's 10 words or longer 10 characters and then you get 60 energy so just free energy and then we'll go to your mailbox and then you'll be able to take it right here as such also above it there's another web event and this is for beginners and it gives you free rewards just for clearing stages and uh it'll tell you where to get breath of orbises which i'll go over in another video and yeah it's just free stuff so yeah you just want to make sure you're doing this and claiming everything um the web event the best drink one will reset every day so you want to make sure you do it every single day it's just free like 200 energy a day sometimes even more if you get lucky and yeah that's pretty much it for you want to do every day guys um just make sure you're keeping up on everything and you know, don't bring yourself out um in the beginning of the game you actually like never run out of energy uh, every time you rank up you get filled up and you get even more energy so it's actually hard to run out but don't feel like you have to like be at zero before you can call it a night because that will just take you hours and hours every day um, sometimes you don't have that much time so you can just take it nice and slow um, i promise you um, you don't have to play like more than two hours a day to you know catch up to people um, just by knowing what you need to do and by playing efficiently you will be able to catch up to players that have been, have been playing for a while in no time and yeah um, that's pretty much it for this episode guys um, yeah i've been just grinding on this account trying to catch up to uh, help you guys get into wyvern just make sure you guys focus on this stuff and yes you want to start thinking about your wyvern team soon at this point and you just want to kind of get into the groove of things by the time you're like halfway through the first episode and trying to understand what you need to do every day um, just don't feel rushed to do everything um, you'll see i'm in a guild at the bottom left here um, you don't have to worry about this yet um, but just start thinking about the other things but yeah just keep focusing on the things i told you guys and you guys will be fine um, thanks for watching guys and i'll be back with another episode very very soon peace